What I have here is a door locking mechanism out of a Mark IV Volkswagen uh, 2000 Golf. The jet is all the same. What I did is I installed this unit because my original one had failed, and once I had it installed, neither the inside door handle nor the outside door handle would work, so I couldn't get the door open. And I was kind of getting kind of worried about it. So anyway, what I did is I uh, uh, I kind of analyzed and, and tried to figure out what was going on with this thing, and what I learned was that the outside door handle, when it is pulled, it pulls on this cable here, and what this does is it moves this arm to release the, the mechanism in there. Now this unit, this particular arm is supposed to go all the way back down again to the seated position as it is now. What that does is it resets the unlocking mechanism, very similar to uh, the, the, the sear on a, on a gun. It resets so that it can actuate it again. Now if the arm doesn't go down all the way, it doesn't reset. So if it doesn't reset, you can pull the outside handle all you want, or you can pull the inside handle through the cape with the cable, which moves this mechanism here all you want. The door's not going to open. Very, very frustrating. So what I discovered was there's this spring here that you'll notice. And what this, I think it serves absolutely no purpose whatsoever that I can determine. It looks as though a little tang fits in this groove here. And I think that might only be used during a uh, installation process to hold this thing up just a little bit to allow this to fit in the handle a little easier. Now, there's a return spring down here that you'll notice. And what it's responsible for doing is it's responsible for allowing this arm, pulling this arm back down again. But it's, but it's not a very, very strong spring. What I've noticed is this tang here on the bottom of this spring pokes through this hole and it rubs on this arm and it pre and it hinders this arm's free movement. Now if you I don't know if you can see it in there but you can kind of see some scratches on the inside of that that uh through that little hole there where that spring tang has interfered with the operation of that arm. So my recommendation is let's just take that spring out of there completely and get rid of it. It doesn't serve a purpose. You don't need it. Now, there's nothing there that's going to prohibit this arm from functioning and moving all the way back down so that it can reset and allow you to open the door. What you can do in a pinch is you can reach down through the window slot from the top, and if this thing isn't all the way in the down position, you can actually push it down with a screwdriver to get it into the down position so that it resets, which will allow you to open the door. So if your door is ever stuck, look through the window slot and make sure that this particular part is all the way down. Another th uh, way you may be able to access it is by pulling the door handle out and taking a very, very small narrow screwdriver and following this cable in, you should be able to push this back down again, which would allow this arm to come all the way down, reset, which will allow you to open the door. Hope this helps.